All muscles work in pairs called antagonistic muscle pairs. Whether they are striped muscles, smooth muscles, or cardiac muscles makes no difference. All muscles must work in pairs. This is because they can contract and relax but cannot push or stretch themselves. So when a muscle works, it needs to have a partner. It can either be an agonist or an antagonist. The agonist is the extensor muscle that opens the joint, increasing the angle between the two bones. It is the one that generates a specific movement. The antagonist, on the other hand, is the flexor muscle that acts in opposition to the movement of the agonist, which is also responsible for it turning, for example, a limb to its initial position. Antagonistic muscle pairs have an incredible relationship. When contracted together, both sets of muscles in a pair provides great static joint stability. However, normal everyday activities which involve movement such as walking, running, and strength exercises in the gym rely on these muscular pairs contracting and relaxing in perfect synchronization with each other. This synchronization is helped by a neuromuscular phenomenon called reciprocal inhibition. The nervous system is programmed to automatically inhibit or prevent the contraction of a muscle group when its opposing antagonistic muscle group contracts. Antagonistic pairs in the body need each other because again, muscles can only exert a pulling force and can't push themselves back into their original positions. An example of this kind of muscle pairing is the biceps brachii and the triceps brachii. When your biceps contracts, it flexes or bends the elbow joint. At the same time, it also pulls the triceps to make it longer. So the triceps is stretched by the biceps pulling it. When the triceps contracts, it extends or straightens the elbow joint. And at the same time, it pulls the biceps and makes it longer. So these two muscles work together. Neither muscle can stretch itself. It must be stretched by its antagonist, its partner.